Okay, hold on. Okay. Okay, so Mark, tell us about what you find when you analyze this handwriting. When I analyze this handwriting of this letter, it seems very similar to the one I read back at the machine shop because the P's in the word like happen and let's try to find another hospital and ooh, wow there are many of these anticipated all the P's are in the same uh, style they all uh, uh, have the underside loop and it's so large and defined which means that the person had so much potential energy the person was probably the lethargic at the time and really needed to exercise and you can really tell that in this person's handwriting definitely you can and then in the word that and but and cost you can also see um, a consistency of the fact that the T has a loop in it before the cross goes in. And, and that means that the person was um, trying to break a bad habit at the time and trying to refine the person's, refine the person's tastes. And something else that, uh, else that I see that's very, um, that's very consistent is the fact that in the T at the very top, the crossbar is, is up to the upper um, upper side of it, which means that the person either has high goals or, or, or the person, on the other hand, um, has a high self-esteem, which is really um, shocking because many people, well, not many people, most people have, have it at the very center or the lower part of it, which means the person has a lower self-esteem, which I find really um, peculiar in this. And it reminds me of someone, of someone I know that's really um, has that high self-esteem. Someone I know, but we'll talk about that later. Also, in this letter, I can tell that the D has a loop here, this top loop here, which means that the person is sensitive and has um, and has many feelings, and um, it is not. This person is not an emotionless being. This person really thinks about things and is easily changed by the environment. And here, the, and here I can tell the person is hanging on to ideas on the word your, which means that this person um, is probably writing an essay or, um, or writing about something very deep and touching to that person who's trying to hold on to ideas for the future and what else to write in the paper. And there are many different um, pieces of this, like in the M of how it slopes down, you could tell that um, a teenager did not write this. Um, someone over the age of 18 did write this because of how the M has a downward slope on the loops, which means the person is feeling really comfortable and not very anxious of the person's self, which means that there are, are many changes going on with that person's life at the moment. And let's try to find something else. Oh yeah, and the O. The, throughout most of the O's here, you can tell the person is secretive because of how this lock um, on the very top of the O is showing. And this is, as you can see, very consistent in the way that it goes over here to once. It's really, really eye-catching. And there is a slight bit of sarcasm in the way that these, the dots of the eyes are printed, but it's not very um, evident, like, like the eyes are not scratched out like that, hey, like a comedian's. Okay, let's try to find something else. Hmm. Okay, and the way that the person writes Alice at the very bottom, right here, you can tell the person is very, um, hmm, let's try to find a word for this, okay. The, the person is very um, ostentatious in the way the person thinks of him, uh, him or herself. Because in the way the person writes the name Alice, the A is is super amplified compared to the other A's, like in the word always. And it's very uh, it's very clear that this person um, is, is, thinks very highly of herself, is self-conscious, and is in a, a very relaxed state of consciousness, where this person's thinking cl clearly for this um, note and letter, and is focusing deeply. And that's um, that, that's just a nutshell of what I can tell from this. There are many different uh, signs here, but thank you. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Thank you very.